Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn chapter 8, Physical Optics. For this video, we are going to discuss on subtopic 8.5, Deflections by Single Slip. So, before we start to discuss the example, let's look at the summary first for deflection. Okay, deflection is the spreading of the wave as it passes through a narrow slip or an obstacle. So here we have two equations. The first one is the constructive equations. Okay, so usually constructive one, or we will call maxima, actually is a black fringe. Okay, so the equations that we will use for constructive or maxima, or sometimes we will say is a black fringe, is y equals to n plus half lambda d over a. Okay, where a is the slip width. For disruptive, or sometimes we call it as maxima or a dark fringe, the equation is y equals to n lambda d over a. Okay, or we can use a sine theta equals to n lambda. Okay, so the first equation here, y equals to n lambda d over a. Okay, this equation is actually to find the free separation. And the, <clears throat> the second equation, a sine theta equals to n lambda, okay, is actually uh, for us to find angular width. Okay, so if I say we want to find angular width, theta will equal to at sine n lambda over a. Okay, so this is how you can find the angular width. And remember that the n here, okay, n here is equal to plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3. Okay, so meaning that n is up from 1 to 3. Okay, so next, the next equation here is the width of the central bar. Okay, usually when uh, we refer to the single slip, usually they will ask questions related to the width of the central bar. Okay, so if you refer back to this diagram here, the width of the central bar is actually first minimum to first minimum. Okay, meaning that here, first minimum to first minimum. So this is the width of the central bar. So actually, width of the central bar here, we can divide it into two y. Okay, so here is the first y and this is the second y. Okay, therefore, our width of the central bar is actually equal to 2y, where, where n here is equal to 1. Okay, and because our width is from first dark to first dark, okay, meaning that the width between the first order minima, therefore, we will use the equation of the minima where 2y for minima is 1 times lambda d over a. Okay, so y equals to n lambda d over a where n is equal to 1. Okay, therefore, this is the equation that we will use. Uh, okay, we will use for the width of the central bar. Okay, next one is, if let's say the question asks us to find, okay, to find the angular width. Uh, so, we have another equation is angular width, okay, of central bar. Okay, so angular width meaning that we want to find theta. Okay, so if we refer back to this diagram here, angular width meaning that is from first minima to first minima. Okay, so angular width here is actually equal to theta 1 times 2. Okay, because usually we will take the angular width is from the central bright. Okay, so meaning that the angular width here is equal to 2 theta. Okay, it's equal to 2 theta here. So 2 theta here, okay, we refer back to the equation where theta is equal to at sine lambda d n lambda over a. Okay, where n is equal to 1, so it's 1 lambda over a. Okay, so this is how you can find the angle between the, the angular width of the central bar. Okay, the angular width of the central bar. Okay, so these are the equations that we will use for single slip. Okay, so let us look at the example of the uh, single slip. So we continue discuss on 8.5 deflection by the single slip, example 11. So what will happen to the light when it passes an obstacle? Okay, so when it passes through an obstacle or it passes through a narrow slip, the light will bend or deflect it. Okay, next we go to example C. Okay, the light from the two sources pass through 0.5 millimeter wide slip. A screen is placed two meter behind the slip. So what is the conditions for the deflection pattern to be observed on the screen? Okay, so in order to ob can observe on the screen, okay, the slip width here, the slip width meaning that the A here, okay, must smaller or equals to lambda. Okay, so this is the condition. Okay, next, the second bright fringe from 633 nanometer light source overlap with the third dark fringe. Okay, so the words overlap here meaning that Y1 is actually equal to Y2. Okay, when the word overlap, uh, meaning that they are formed on the same fringe separation uh, on the screen. They calculate the wavelength of the unknown light source. Okay. Okay, where y1 is the second bright fringe. So second bright fringe equation is n plus half lambda d over a. Okay, so for second bright fringe, meaning that is 2 plus half. Okay, and then lambda is equal to 633 nano d over a. Okay, whereas for y2 is the third dark. 
So third that we must use destructive equations or minima. So it's equal to n lambda d over a. So third that meaning that n is equal to 3, lambda 2 we don't know, d over a. Okay, so since the um, since the arrangement of the apparatus do the same, meaning that the d we can cancel, the slip width we can cancel, therefore we know that lambda 2, the wavelength of the unknown light source, is equal to 527.5 nanometer. Okay, next we'll go to example 12. A sodium light of the wavelength 580 nanometer shine through a slit. Okay, so when the question mentioned a slit, meaning that it's actually single slit. Okay, because of the word a. Okay, and produce a diffraction pattern on the screen 0 0.6 meter away. The width of the central maximum on the screen is 5 cm. So again, when the question mentioned 5 cm here is actually equal to W, uh, the width. And W or the width of the central maximum is actually equal to 2 y. Okay, 2 y because it's from first minima to first minima. Okay, so 2 y here also equals to minima. So it's 1 lambda d over a. Okay, and it's equal to 5 cm. So I substitute here 5 cm. So 5 cm is equal to 5 exponent negative 2. Okay, so we want to find the width of the slit, meaning that we want to find A. Okay, so I write here again, 5 cm equals to 2 lambda d over A. Okay, so we substitute in 5 exponent negative 2. 2 lambda is 580 nanometer. And the D, uh, D is the uh, distance between the screen and the slit. So it's 0 0.6 over A. So finally, the width of the slit A is equal to 1.39 times exponent negative 5 meter. Okay, next, find the angular width. Uh, angular width meaning that it's theta. Okay, so angular width here is actually equal to 2 theta. Okay, angular width, uh, angular width here is actually equal to 2 theta. Okay, from here. So 2 theta is, this is the first theta, this is the second theta. Okay, when the theta here is from first minima to first minima. So it's equal to at sign, 1 lambda over A. Okay, so we substitute in 2 at sign lambda is 580 nano and the width of the slip is 1.39 exponent negative 5. Okay, therefore the angular width we will get 4.78 degree. Okay, next one. Find the number of minimum that can be observed on the screen. So the word minimum here actually is minima, destructive. So if you want to see how many dark fringe we can see, okay, we must assume that the angle of a sine theta is 90 degree. Okay, so the maximum number of order for minima fringe, meaning that the angle here must equal to 90 degree. Okay, so minima meaning that it's dark, it's destructive. So the equation a sine 90 degree equals to n lambda. Okay, so we want to find what is the value for n. How many uh, maximum or the number of order minima that we can observe. Okay, so we arrange back. A, okay, n will equal to a sine 90 degree over lambda. Okay, where sine 90 degree here is actually equal to 1. Okay, therefore, a is equal to 1.39 exponent negative 5 and the wavelength is equal to 580 nanometer. Okay, therefore we will get n is equal to 23.97. Okay, so 23.97 we cannot roll off huh? even though it's 97, 0 0.97. Okay, we cannot roll off because uh, 24 order heaven are period. So we cannot roll off. Huh? So the n that we can observe here is only 23. Huh? We can observe until 23 only. Uh, the maximum line. Huh? Okay, and remember. Uh, because we have a uh, top and a bottom for both sides, therefore the number of maximum uh, minim uh, minima fringes that we can observe is 23 okay, at the bottom and 23 okay, at top. And, okay, therefore, the maximum minima fringes that we can observe here is actually 26 uh, because 23 plus 23 for both sides. So the value is actually 46 fringes. So this is the answer for minima. Okay, so see you on the next video. We will continue with the depression gritty. Okay, see you. Bye.